Hey, good morning. Welcome to the first Tuesday Trash Talks. Um, my name is Cheryl Baldwin. I'm with the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, and I also run the Recycle CT What's In, What's Out program that talks about what should go in your bin and what should not go in your bin. Today is my first attempt at trying to talk about a particular topic or item. I'm trying to do this once a week on Tuesdays in the morning at 10, though today I'm a little late technical difficulties, but I encourage you to put in items that you have questions about or different concerns you have about recycling for the statewide What's In What's Out program, and I will try to answer all your questions. Feel free to also post, post a photograph of a particular product because I may not know all of them, of course. So today I'm going to talk to you about the recycling arrows. Many of you might be using these recycling arrows as a guidance tool. These are the arrows, there's three arrows and then there's a little number in the bottom and that material is usually, usually you might find it at the bottom of a container. I encourage you not to use this as a guide. What this is is an ASTM code, it's an industry code to let us know what type of plastic resin it is, which is important to know, perhaps mostly if you're part of the industry, but as a consumer it doesn't really give us much information. It doesn't tell us if it's acceptable in our program or if it's not acceptable in our program. It just tells us the type of resin it is. So I encourage you to think about it in terms of containers. Most plastic containers are acceptable in the Connecticut program, such as bottles and other bottles and more bottles and more bottles and jars and jugs and tubs and berry containers, though this particular one was for tomatoes, and yogurt containers or small cups, and then of course other types of cups. All of these are acceptable in the program, including a little cookie container. Other types of containers. All of these containers are acceptable in the program. Instead of relying on the little arrows uh, with the number in it, I encourage you to think about using the HowToRecycle.com webpage instead. HowToRecycle.com. These labels are much better to go by, and I'll show you an example. So here's an example. It tells you what type of product it is. It tells you um, this particular thing to drop off at a store. And it tells you uh, whether or not it's likely to be acceptable, and then it gives the web page. So this is a good example because this is recyclable. This is a plastic bag uh, that came uh, that delivered some Amazon Prime contain, uh, materials. And while it's recyclable, it's not acceptable in the program. It's not a container. However, it is plastic film. And so you can bring it back to your re participating retail store that takes plastic bags for recycling. This is the same type of material. Great example of how things are recyclable but not always acceptable. So I encourage you to look for these labels instead of using the recycling arrows. So I thank you very much and um, by all means I really appreciate you recycling right because of course recycling matters. And if you have any other questions for the RecycleCT wizard, feel free to go to www.recyclect.com. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.